Hi, I'm Daniela of AB Crafty, and today we're gonna dye silk and satin with lollipops and candy sticks. Because silk is made of a protein, you can use acid dyes or regular food coloring to dye it. Therefore, the food coloring in candy can actually be used to dye silk. And it even leaves fun lollipop prints or a cool tie-dye pattern by using different methods that I'll show you. To start, you of course need lollipops, so go ahead and unwrap all the lollipops that you want to use. I went with the smaller swirly pops, but you can of course go for the classic big ones as well. The link to the specific candy I got is in the description, as well as the full instructions that are on my blog, abcrafty.com. And as you can see, I struggled a bit thinking I could easily open these without breaking them, so I definitely recommend using scissors to open these really easily. After you have your lollipops ready, soak the silk in a water and vinegar solution. This serves as your acid for the acid dyeing process. You can also use citric acid, but I just use vinegar since it's more readily available and more often cheaper. The mixture that I use is two parts of water to one part of vinegar. Soak it for at least 10 minutes to make sure that the silk is fully saturated. And since I was just playing around with this candy dyeing technique, I just used some scraps of fabric, but I think it'd be pretty cool to do an entire silk scarf with these methods. Squeeze out the water so the fabric isn't dripping wet, but still damp. Then place it into a microwave safe dish. Remove any air bubbles by pushing the bubbles out to the edges. Then start arranging the lollipops onto the silk. You can also dip them in water to get the colors to start to run. However, if you do this, I definitely recommend only dipping it on one side versus dipping the whole thing, since you're only actually gonna use one side of the lollipop at a time. I made the mistake of dipping the whole thing and I found the colors started to run, which wasted a little bit of the dye on the other side. Once you have the lollipops where you want them, leave them there for about five to 10 minutes. If you want more vibrant colors, leave them on for longer. You can also check on them along the way by carefully lifting them up on the side. You can also just lift up the entire dish and look underneath it if you're using a clear dish. Once you like how they look, pick them up and place them face down on the other side. Now, how cool are those rainbow spirals? I think it's so crazy that they come out that nice. I originally got this idea from a video that Rebecca of Chemnitz recently did in which she dyed yarn with lollipops. I was shocked that she was able to get such perfect lollipop prints so I figured it would be a cool way to dye silk and was pretty excited that these worked out as planned. It also helps to push on the lollipops to make sure they're completely touching the silk. Continue flipping the lollipops over and filling in as much of the fabric as you'd like. You can see that after a couple of flips, the food coloring is pretty much used up. I noticed that the purple dye was the first to go, which is why some of the swirls don't have as much purple. When you're happy with the number of prints, cover the whole thing in plastic wrap, then heat it up in the microwave for 30 second increments for about one to three minutes. Heating it sets the dye so that it won't wash out or bleed. Make sure to keep a very close eye on it so that the sugar from the candy doesn't burn. I learned this the hard way. Did my house smell like caramel? Yes. But did I also get brown spots on my fabric? Yes. So it's definitely better to check on it more often. You can check to see if the dye is set by rinsing a small part of it and seeing if it bleeds. If it does, then heat it for longer. Even though some of the sections of the silk got burnt, it still came out ridiculously cool. And I'll probably incorporate it into a felting project anyways, so the brown spots will be less noticeable. But some of these swirls really came out perfect. Now, when I bought the lollipops, I went kind of crazy and bought a bunch of other candy, including these cool rainbow candy sticks. Just as with the lollipops, soak the silk in the solution of water and vinegar and place it in a microwave safe dish. Then place the candy sticks on top. I staggered them across the fabric, but in hindsight, it probably makes more sense to keep them in a row, but definitely keep space in between. Just as before, let them sit for a few minutes. Then give them a slight roll to move them over. Continue this process, letting them slowly release the dye. It's pretty cool that you can see the rainbow pattern that it slowly leaves behind. If you have smaller sections of white that you need to fill in, you can easily just break the candy and then it'll fit into those smaller sections. After spending quite a bit of time rolling the candy after every few minutes, I realized there's probably a faster way to do this, which is to roll the fabric around the candy instead of the candy rolling it on the fabric. 
It was definitely a facepalm moment for me, but I mean, it's all a learning process. Then same as before, cover it in plastic wrap and microwave it until the dye has set. I was quite proud of myself for not burning this one. And this one definitely came out looking like tie-dye silk. It's almost like a rainbow zebra pattern that's giving me some serious 90s Lisa Frank vibes. Now I also had scraps of satin fabric, so I figured I would also dye the satin to see how it compared to the silk. For this one, I realized a faster way could be to fold the fabric over the lollipop so that you can use both sides of the lollipop at the same time. However, you might not be able to use as many lollipops at a time, but perhaps with a bit of planning, you could make it work. After letting the dye set in for a couple minutes, carefully peel the fabric off of the lollipop. Something to keep in mind is the food coloring from the lollipop will dye any part of the fabric that it touches. So you really wanna be careful if you plan on using this method. This way you'll still get perfect rainbow swirls. When you're ready, cover it in plastic, microwave it and rinse it out. And here are all the different fabrics to compare them. I definitely didn't leave the lollipops on the satin for as long, which is why they're more faint. But other than that, which one do you like best? Leave a comment below and let me know what other projects you'd like to see. If you've been following me on my socials, you know I've gotten really into spinning yarn lately, so maybe I can do some yarn dyeing or spinning tutorials. Let me know. And of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more crafty tutorials. And to see what I'm crafting day to day, be sure to follow me on Instagram or Facebook. And I'm now on TikTok where I'm posting fun little crafting videos.